Hello and welcome to Art Corner. I wanted to do some kind of chill thing. Content I like to watch, like art videos and painting and creating something. While talking about the kind of content I like to watch, I'm thinking YouTubers, movies, etc. Today we will be fixing this painting. I was going for a teal theme, but it's more green and blue separately. Um, so let's get to it. The first YouTuber I wanted to talk about today is Jenny Nicholson. If you haven't noticed, if you haven't seen her channel, a lot of my videos are inspired by hers because I just really like watching them. I've rewatched them a few times. And if you, uh, if you have seen her, her channel, that's, uh, Brave Reviews. She doesn't have, like, a ton of videos, and she doesn't upload that often because she puts in a lot of effort. She's kind of a review channel, kind of an investigative journalist channel, kind of a post-whatever-I-find-interesting channel. So she's got, like, a lot of, um amusement park content, like she's got a, a recent video about Evermore Park, the Renaissance Fair themed amusement park in Utah, and she goes all the way deep into its history, how it's operating, she goes there and like does a whole like expose thing, um, it's quite the watch. She has some older videos where she reads like old books and old like strange books and fan fiction and things like that too. She wears themed outfits as well, so that's always fun to see. Another channel that's that's a commentary channel that I like is uh, Mike's Mike. So Mike's Mike focuses on a lot of early 2000s content, kind of like nostalgia kind of thing now. Uh, he's recapped Pretty Little Liars, He's currently recapping Gossip Girl and Lost, but he's only got a couple of videos of those so far. Um, various movies like Charlie's Angels, Flushed Away, Shark Tale. He makes like elaborate like backgrounds or um, some kind of prop for his videos, which is really fun. Like his Pretty Little Liars background was a big like conspiracy board with like uh, lines going to each character and how they're connected and like he would pull down like question marks over people as he revealed plot points. It's very fun. I'm kind of realizing I'm just turning this swirl back into the background so that might not be what I want. Maybe it is what I want. It's okay. Same kind of content but a smaller channel is Madison Bush. She also makes some nostalgia content and also kind of whatever she wants. Her most recent video is following tutorials on napkin folding. And, you know, like very basic topics, but they make them very entertaining because they add a lot to them. Like, I feel like when you see somebody saying like, oh, I'm recapping a, a show, you're like, why? You know, like, what, I could just watch the show. But, like, they, you know, sum it up in, like, a really fun way. Like, when I, I didn't really like watching Pretty Little Liars, but I love watching Mike's Mike talk about Pretty Little Liars. Or, like, Madison Bush also talks about early 2000s movies. And sometimes I'm like, well, I didn't really like literally watching that. But it's really fun to see somebody who's just, like, so excited about something, like, talk about it in a new way that you've never thought of. Let's see what we can add here. What if we add... What would be interesting? Diamonds? If you can even see that. Maybe I should go with some other color. I have a teal here, like a, like a different kind of teal. Brighter. That's brighter. Another channel that's really fun and unique is Brutal Moose. He's been on YouTube for a long time. He used to do more video game reviews, but now he does mall reviews and 
he tries food from weird places or he tries a new recipe and calls it brutal foods. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing anymore. I had a plan before but now I'm maybe I'll just lean into the green, let it live there and swirl around it. Cool. Just gonna get rid of that diamond. Oh, well, swirls are pretty cool now. It's like a little snake. We all lean into that. It's kind of spooky. It's got little snakes all over. I kind of ran out of YouTubers to talk about, so I guess I'll talk about some movies. This old lady's a cobra. That one's just a normal snake. Let's give him some dimension. Okay, now it doesn't really look like a cobra anymore. I'll try again. So, when I was growing up, I really loved Alice in Wonderland. And I really loved Labyrinth. It took me a very long time to realize that those are very similar movies. <laughs> like, they're both like a girl who dreams of like a wacky world that she thought would be like so much better than the real world. But then it's not and it's actually kind of bad and everybody hates her there and it sucks and she doesn't know what's going on and everybody's mad at her. And part of me relates to that, I guess. Still would be better with a bunch of Muppets around. And maybe not though, maybe not. They are really mean. <laughs> not the Muppets, but like everybody else. Like every, I mean, not just, not Muppets, but like every other person in the labyrinth. Like they're like trying to make her life as hard as possible and they are kind of strange. But I feel like like Labyrinth is very much an allegory for growing up because you have all these ideas of like who you are and what you want your life to be and the direction that you think you're going but it turns out like it's not what you think it is and you have to take more responsibility like it's not just going to be your path isn't going to be handed to you you have to figure it out for yourself and not everybody is trustworthy but having friends along the way is extremely valuable and and important to get to your goal and also just because a man's interested in you doesn't mean he's got your best interest in mind that's not really a snake anymore I don't know <laughs> here I'm just gonna let's try again because by the end she realizes like that she grows up and she's she's not so tied to her childhood toys and everything and she thinks you know saving her little brother is more important do I love it? what shall we do? I kind of like that dark color. I need more of that, I think. We'll try more of the dark. Hmm? I'll loop it around, maybe. I'm going to the realization that I don't really know what a horror movie is. Or like the things I consider horror. Maybe I just don't talk enough about horror movies to people, but I'm like, Bones and All is not a horror movie. And then I watched, there's like this trailer for it that's like insane. It's like so chaotic and like so like like it's edited like it's just like an intense horror movie I think that that's misguided but I do think like maybe it would like 
make people's expectations of it, like, this is going to be a bloody cannibal movie. You know, but it is that, but it's mostly not that. It's mostly, it's not really like high intensity consistently. It's very like, these people are driving through fields and smiling at each other for minutes. These people are falling asleep under the stars. And it's like, it's just like hanging out. And then sometimes there's cannibalism. And it was so intense that it like, I like kind of had a panic attack after, but like, it's art though. That's why I'm like, do I even know? <laughs> but it's not that I don't find things scary. It's just that like, when I think of a horror movie, I guess I think of like very specific things. Like things like The Ring, where I like, I'm like, that's too scary. I can't watch The Ring, you know? But like, I'll watch Scream. I'll watch the heck out of Scream and I'll be like, yeah! But like, no, I can't do like spooky, spooky horror. No way. I guess it depends. Like, 13 Ghosts was fun. It felt very much like a game you'd play as a kid. Like, they'd put on these little goggles and they would see ghost runes around the room and it was really cute because it was like okay those are just like <laughs> just little like lab goggles or like machine shop goggles and they're like no these are the special spectacles the specter specs I don't think they called them that but they should have if they didn't um, and then it was like you need these special glasses <laughs> And that one had like some spooky ghosts. I feel like if you were a little kid and you saw that, like it could, it would be scary. But for me, it was just kind of fun because it was just like, oh, who's the next ghost you're gonna meet, and will they get him in the ghost prison jail thing before the time runs out? It's like it was kind of like an adventure, like a sci-fi ghosty adventure. Um, but it is pretty gory. Like there's like a lady gets smushed in between two walls in part of it. That is that a spoiler? It, it's very obvious when it happens. I'm not gonna say who. I don't remember her name anyway. I know that like what people find scary changes through generations. Like A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. I watched that and I was like, this is a delight. <laughs> This is so fun. Like, this is, like, Freddy seems like a blast. I'm not scared of sleeping at all. There was a lot of comedic, like, not intentionally comedic things, where it'd be, like, this, the main character was drinking coffee to stay awake, and she would, like, pull out, like, comically large, like, coffees <laughs> all the time, where, like, she's, like, this has a scene in the kitchen, and then she's, like, heading to school, but her mom's trying to stop her and like she's not holding a coffee cup and then all of a sudden it's like from off screen she's like drinking coffee and then like <laughs> uh, the mom is trying to get her to stop drinking coffee and then in her room she takes all of her mugs away and she pulls out this coffee maker with a coffee pot full of coffee from under her bed. Like comically large amounts of coffee all the time. It is so funny. And then like the special effects are amazing, like with the spinning rooms and stuff where like the people go up on the ceiling or when the, the bed explodes. It's so fun. But like to other people, to like, you know, Gen X and stuff, they're like, oh, it's so scary. But then, you know, they can watch stuff like The Ring and not be scared, but but the ring scares me, and like, objectively, probably not that scary, but like, I don't know, I grew up with a cousin who liked to scare me, and so I think that's just there now. No, I messed up the snake! Shh, it'll be okay. Will it? I should go here. This sucks. I don't like this. But it was fun to paint anyway. Maybe I'll 
find a way to fix this and I'll show you the finished product later. But for now, I had a lot of fun painting with you and telling you about fun things I like to watch. And if you liked it, please let me know what kind of fun YouTube channels and movies do you like to watch. Do you like painting? Do you like cars making a lot of noise? This is fun. I think it's like a whole motorcycle crew. Okay, well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked painting with me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!